back to Sully's Rods and Customs. Today I'm going to show you how to make this sandblasting cabinet into a vapor blast cabinet so you can polish up all your metals and alloys and stuff um, for about 160 bucks. Keep watching, I'll show you how. Here you go, here's my blasting cabinet. Um, as you can see inside, it's just a, a normal sandblasting cabinet. I've converted it over to a hydro blast cabinet so that big hose there has water and grit running through it. Small hose is just air. Um, well, I'll give it. I'll give it a bit of a run, and I'll show you how it, how it works. I'll just clean the lens there a bit. I'll shut this door. Lock that. The pump on. So you can see now that that pump there is flowing out. Um, it's flowing out grit and water. Let's get my hand in the glove. You can see how much grit's on my hand here, right? So if I just wipe it off that shelf there, and I just put the put it up towards it, you'll be able to see how much water how much water flow we have here. And if I give it a squeeze, it actually blasts out the grit and the water. I'll show you from here, we're not blast out the side, but so there you go. Um I'll just give you a bit of a walk around on what I've done. So again, that's just a cheap and nasty sandblasting cabinet. I actually picked it up secondhand. Facebook Marketplace, 50 bucks, um, with the little stand that someone had made. I have a little submersible pump down in the bottom of this bucket here. You can see it down there, it's just a cheap Azito one. It's only a 350 watt submersible pump. Um, and you can see the arrangement that I've got on here. So I've got the pump outlet. It goes up into a T-piece just there. That T-piece hose swirls around at the bottom and it ends up back on the bottom of the pump. Move it over, you'll be able to see. So it goes around the bottom of the pump and it just agitates the grit in the bottom of the, in the, bottom of the bucket. Um, if you don't do that, all the grit just ends up stuck on one side of the, the bucket. Then that other hose just comes up and runs up and goes to that handpiece. This is just my Ryobi wet vac. I tried, I tried to use it in a small bucket like this, but it didn't have the volume. I tried to use it in this big, I think it's like a 36 liter tub, but it wasn't round enough and the pump would sit in the middle and hollow out a hole in the grit. You can see in here there's, there's, the, there's the media. It's just fine garnet, which is the media that I'm using, um, which can buy it any sort of Place. This is the actual stuff here. It says Microblast. Um, that's where it's from. www.blastblastright.com. What does it say here? This is blast right in the front of it, but it's just a garnet material. So anyway, off that pump, it has a float on it. Um, I just I just flick the pump up the, the the actual float up like this. You can actually. You'll hear the um, water start to run. You'll see in this tube here as I flip it up, the water goes up. There's grit and water flowing through it, and it just drains back out of the bottom straight into that drum. Um, from that hose that goes up the back here, there was already a bung in the back of the cabinet here. I just took it out. All these plastic fittings here are just, um, they're just um, like gardening fittings, you know, for running, hooking up all your sprinkler and stuff. Um, what size? That's just three quarter inch. Um, socket there, male, female, elbow, there's a reducer and then there's like a barbed fitting. I just got it connected on there. On the back here, this is the standard air, air outlet that the, um, the cabinet has when you buy them. This is just like an air inlet here, or outlet there. And there's an inlet here, but I don't use it. You can tell it's starting to leak all over the floor because as I'm blasting, it's run down the side of the cabinet. It's got the two gloves for your arms it has a seal around the door it doesn't seal perfect you can see bits of it gets out and runs down the side here but I'm only doing a few small jobs on it I've kept the standard hand gun for the sandblaster until it actually wears out and then I'll um, probably replace it with a proper little media blast or a little vapor blast unit um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
I, don't, I need to put a light inside. Well, I've got this old, um, got this old um, LED light that I've just got sitting on the top here at the moment, which is not very bright. I'm probably going to get rid of it and put a, a better light up there, which will be one of my Yobi ones here. Let's see if I can just rig that up for now. Sit this on top up here. I'll put it in like that, I'll be able to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give this old um, bracket a bit of a blast and show you what it looks like when I, when I blast it. The gloves on, you can tell, see how these gloves, they're not meant for the vapour blasting part of it. You see the back of the gloves are starting to, as they got wet and my hands are getting a bit wet inside, it's getting a bit sticky in there so it, um, it's hard to actually get them on. So there's there's that um, that bracket that has um, media coming out with that at the moment. So it's not a quick process by any means, but I'll show you how it goes. It'll probably, probably take me about 30 or 40 minutes to do this bracket. There's the compressor cutting in. I'm assuming if I buy the correct vapor blast nozzle that'll do a much better job than this sandblasting gun. You can kind of see the bit beside it there now starting to polish up a little bit. I'll just um, give that a bit of a wash down. There you can kind of see the, the finish that you get out of it, right? So um, I'll take it out of the cabinet and I'll show you better. All right, there you go. You can see you know, some better light. You can see the difference between that gummy old bracket gray Yeah, you can kind of see the difference between that, what that vapor blaster did to it, and that's only the first pass over it. Um, and what the difference in the old grey is there. So, one thing I actually did was I did earlier when I first put this together, I actually vapor blasted my timing cover, and I bought a brand new water pump for it. And the brand new water pump alloy was um, looking a little bit different, so I actually put it into the cabinet, in the blast cabinet, and give it a quick once over as well to try and get the same. I don't know if you can tell there, but it's, it's got this sort of a nice glistened finish to it, like a, I don't know, a bit like a, um, I don't know, like a metallic, um, metallic car sort of finish, you know, so um, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And I guess a bit of a cost rundown on the cabinet. Like I said, 50 bucks for the cabinet with the stand off uh, Facebook Marketplace. I didn't change the gun or the hose or the gloves or anything inside. As you can see, the, the, the gloves really just can't pack the, the water. So you get a lot of water that comes through this part of the glove into your arms. It runs down the front of the cabinet here. So I need to get some proper gloves for a blast cabinet. And I need to seal them in here because it, it runs down the side of the front here. Um, the, the bucket didn't cost me anything because it's off my, um, it's off my Ryobi vacuum. But that little sump pump in there is probably... $69. There's um, in the bottom down here, all I did was put a fitting down there and cut a hole and siliconed it in. There was a side exit, but I needed the water to go straight down the hole. And the so that little fitting there. And this is just like a, um, an extension for a sprinkler system, but I needed it to drop straight out and straight into the bucket where it does. That's probably 10 bucks for that bit of stuff there. And for these, these fittings on the back here, maybe seven or eight bucks. And these fittings in this bottom of this arrangement here, like I said, it's got um, 
that big elbow at the bottom is the original one that comes with the pump. You have to cut the top off to suit the bracket. And then these, this T piece and these other bits and pieces that are on here, um, there's probably another 20 or 30 bucks here. So I reckon, I reckon all up, 50 bucks for the cabinet, 69 for the pump. Um, I reckon I'll up on probably around 150, 160 dollar mark. And then I have a vapor glass cabinet. So that's pretty cool. A bit excited about that. Um, like I said, it does a pretty good job. You can see that timing cover there. That thing was just full of paint and crap before. And that's going to look pretty good on the front. So as a comparison, that, um, that inlet manifold that's on there, which is just sitting there to block the gap, that's what this used to look like. And now you can see what this looks like compared to that. And it looks freaking mint. Um, but you have all this shit run down the side of it. So um, that manifold's got some really bad corrosion issues. I was going to weld it up, but I found another one for the right price. So I've purchased that now. And when I get that, I'm going to vapor blast that too and put that on so everything looks nice and neat. All right, that's it. Maybe 160 bucks all told, and you've got yourself a vapor blast cabinet. So don't go and buy a new new sandblasting cabinet, wait till one comes up on Marketplace that someone's purchased and they'll never use again. Um, and I think it's about maybe 20 bucks a bag for the, the blast media. You can put a core, I haven't put coarse material in there yet, I don't know what it's going to be like. I'm guessing you've got a different sort of surface finish if you put coarse material in there, but it seems to be working really good. Okay, hope you've enjoyed it. Righto, in case you're wondering, that's how all the aluminium parts came up. Um, give the outside of that fuel pump a blast. It matches the alloy on the water pump and the um, timing cover. I did the same thing on the extension for the fan. I blasted the I blasted the inlet manifold and the thermostat housing. I gave the um, bracket for the alternator or blast which you've seen in the video. That's how it came out at the end there. I didn't blast I didn't blast the actual um, Alternator I just give it a bit of a use a scourer on top of it with a bit of um, with A bit of elbow grease, but yeah, I think it came out really well and um, I'd highly recommend if you've got the time and patience and want to do some more stuff yourself just um, put in the time and effort and um, your engine could look like this one. Okay everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share it with your mates, and um, stick around for more videos as I go.